the other thing about these communication apps is that it um, it facilitates a type of communication that, that physically, verbally doesn't happen. So for example, you know, let's, let's put it like this. Um, aggressive sort of communication. You, you see on social media apps in the comments, people are really rude. A lot of like cyberbullying is going on. And, keyboard and, warriors, yeah. Yeah, these keyboard warriors, uh, sort of this pejorative that we use. But But generally speaking, just now sort of, it is true that people feel less consequence to their words. And it goes in all directions. Yeah. With the I love yous, as much as with the I hate yous, right? So for example, two people can be chatting and um, they'll be sending hearts and hugs and, and gifts and all these things to each other, sort of being extra warm and sweet and things. But in real life, they wouldn't be like this. Like if they, was, they wouldn't be kissing and hugging each other every, every second message in, in public, and especially, you know, people who may have some attraction for each other, whatever, like that kind of thing doesn't happen. Another example, imagine you're, you're sitting there and you're sort of feeling a little lonely and you would like some kind of romantic connection or whatever. And you just say, oh, I can just attempt something. I'll just write to someone and say, hey, you know, are you interested or whatever? And you may do that with 20 different women in one go. Like just reach out, just see what's available. <laughs> You wouldn't do that in real life. You can't just walk up to 20 women in front of each other and just start saying, propositioning all of them. At least it wouldn't happen to, with the ease and with the le lack of consequence that it happens not in the digital available. world. Definitely right? not as available, yeah. And so this happens, I feel like, in, in all directions and especially in the, in the sort of hateful speech direction. And, and I'm obviously a, a big propagator of, of freedom of expression and free speech and whatever else. But I'm not a fan of inconsequential, like of, of speech that doesn't carry consequence, right? That I'm not a fan of. I'm, I'm a fan of people being able to express their opinions freely. But you have to know, opinions carry consequence. You can voice them. No one, I should, you shouldn't be stopped. But you have to bear the consequence. And I think social media and communication apps have st often stripped the consequence away from words. The, the weight of words has diminished with this. And I find that to be problematic because it means people are less measured about what they say. They're less considerate about what they say, which for me actually results in a dumbing down of the conversations and the narratives in general, because it used to be that for a message to, to sort of travel, you'd either have to have immense funding behind it, political agenda, or quality. Because if someone had a rubbish idea and they didn't have money to sort of pump it into everyone's brains. Nobody else will. Nobody's <laughs> going to repeat that idea. Nobody's going to pump it for you and you're just going to die in your silly brain where you thought of the rubbish idea, yeah. right? Now, well. Free YouTube. Yeah. I, I can make a video on it. I can make posts on it wherever I want and propagate to the whole world my nonsense idea, right? And so that is is massively amplified by social media. And so... I would like to, again, not to sound like a boring old fart where I'm saying, you know, stop all of this. No, think, just be more conscientious. Think before you do things, be considerate, be articulate, be precise in your language, be precise in your thinking, be precise and intentional in what you're doing. Don't be reactive, don't be impulsive, don't be superficial, don't be basic in, 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 that, in that respect. And that requires... Um, a more self-aware approach to social media. So by all means, go for it. But communication, we, we can't be the generation that is responsible for the death of meaningful interactions and meaningful communication because we're sitting here just pumping the world with nonsense that is not thought through, that has no consideration for the consequence of these words because there is consequence to all of this. And the consequence is we become, on average, less profound. And, and that to me is a huge problem.